wait a minute, I screwed up. Hold on a second. Stop the music. Stop the music. Stop the music. It's supposed to go this way. There we this go. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. So everybody who watched the program, you just saw me fuck up terribly. Hold on a second. Now I got to get me on. And guess what? I don't have a hat. Uh-oh. Your head's not shiny. What? Your head's not shiny. You've got some hats up there. I know. I'll go get them in a second. Uh, I just, I've been having more problems tonight getting this show uh, up and running. Wouldn't you say that your life is one big problem? It is one big problem. <laughs> Easily one big Easily. problem, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. One big fucking Mister, gigantic. Mister, what? you no. forgot something. Hold on a second. I gotta get other stuff going Yeah, but here. this is the most it's important. More, but it's not if you're important. not on air, then you're not on oh, air. Oh, boy. Look at his little slippers. No, it, so it went, cute. It went, it went bad on me. Everything went bad on me. Everything tonight, just none of it worked. That's life in the none passing lane, None kiddo. of it worked. Uh, so that the opening of the show was not smooth because I ran the theme while I had the gabnet on. It was the gabnet was supposed to go first. And I'll get blamed the, for this. But, but, you can believe so it. So you people who are watching the video saw the fuck up on the opening. But the people who are listening to the audio, I can clean it up and post. But I'm going to get blamed for all of this. You're sure you're going to get blamed for it. Now, let me let me tell you something. I've had a little little problem here we go with the with the medical with the medical markup well no, no my feet have been uh, well that's have, have one been, of your medical updates my feet have been bothering me well yeah so maybe if you walk around a little no, well, bit well i figured the part of it is i've been walking barefoot on the hardwood which floors, is not good which is not good if your feet are getting bony you know so um, uh, it, it hurts when I sometimes walk and put on shoes and stuff for a while. And then after I've walked for a while, I'm okay. How do you like your moo-moos? No, so wait a minute. Oh. So I'm, I'm building up to that. Okay. So a uh, little Missy over here. That's what I used to call, uh, what's her name on it over at uh, Sirius XM? Hmm. You can't even remember her name now. I block it. Anyway. Uh, so she says to me, she says, well, maybe, I said, I, I can't just wear the socks because I'm hitting the hardwood floors. Uh, what do you, what? And she says, well, why don't you buy, wear the uh, slippers I bought you? Now, you would think that if she said, why don't you wear the slippers I bought you, these are some wonderful little, like, you know, wonderfully expensive, you know. They're adorable. Do you want to see the ones she got me, folks? Here we go. How's that? Wait a minute. Let me let me go to just a oh, shot of me. Just seeing the soul, huh? Or just seeing the soul? Yeah. You got well, it. It, it's it's uh, there. You go. There you go. Do you see, there there they are. Well, well here I'll take it off so I can <laughs> show it to you. There, those are my slippers, folks. <laughs> she, she likes, you know, she likes to. I don't know why, you know, women marry you and then they try to embarrass you. No, they just dress you properly. Huh? No, this is not. <laughs> This is not hot. Uh, uh, this is not dressing fine. This is either a slipper or a hand puppet. <laughs> either. Hi, Marjorie. How are you? Okay. Uh, oh, uh, moo, uh, moo, uh, moo, 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 moo. <laughs> so anyway, it, it, it. Oh. There you go. Uh, so anyway, so I uh, let me see here. Let me go back to the two shot. There we go. So when I was starting up tonight, I couldn't. I put all the. Uh, the uh, post all the shows in advance so that they, all then all I have to do is put in the the put the what do you call it online after the shows are through and they're all coming in out of order and I can't figure out why well since you don't have to do that until after all the shows why worry about it now well it, it, it's a fact that I haven't got so they're not in order so if you see stuff you're gonna see the intersection in the wrong place and then i had the wrong date on the on the exchange i had to change that and then all of a sudden just before i went on the air i realized i hadn't started i had to start something here to, so i can get ready for the video stream to go out and i hadn't started it and then i started it and then it fucked up 
Oh, so I, know. I then had to redo everything, and it was like doing it the last second. And I said, "I, what do I need this for at my age? Okay, Can I just, I just should give up on is this." Is the complaining over? Oh no, no, you're still oh, going. Oh no, no, I okay. got a bigger complaint. All right, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I'm listening. Should I not wear hats on the show? Good. I like your bald head. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. It goes with your slippers. So anyway, well, here's the thing. I'm going to get that. You know, they got that plexiderm, they say, that takes the bags out from under your yeah, eyes. I think I should it. invest the 59 bucks in it and see if it actually works and put it on before I do the shows. Yeah, I want to try it, too. You, oh, you want to try it, too? Well, then you can go half price with me. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so so where was I? Oh, so I, I tonight, I, to begin with, uh, we're having some guests come over tomorrow. And rather than say, oh, well, I'll make them dinner, they wanted to go out for hamburgers. Well, we wanted to go out to an inexpensive place. So we figured a hamburger place. The problem, look at somebody put that on high. I just did. Oh, oh, okay. But I'm going to turn it down. I thought it was a neighbor, because that happens sometimes. Yes. We're sitting in bed, and it's on real low, and all of a sudden it's spinning around. Yeah. Dead of winter. I I want to hide these these pants that I'm wearing, because... See those? There's jammies. They're my jammies. I like to be comfortable when I do the show. But anyway, so uh, she she decides that she's going to make me cook dinner. Well, he does make good spare ribs. There's no question about it. You are the king of spare ribs, and why not share it with them? That would be to go out on a Saturday night to find a hamburger place, which will be packed. Um, and at the time, it's going to be. You know. Yeah, so I've got to make ribs. He's making ribs. That, that's not a, my ribs are not like a 45-minute process. They are like four hours. But they're cook. so, they're they fall ribs. right off the bone. Yeah. They are good. But anyway, so she says, you got to do that. Well, then I realized I didn't have the rub, you rub know, and I, I, and I need a certain rub that I put on it. I offered Vicks. No, Vicks doesn't <laughs> work. And I had some rub, but I didn't know if I had enough. Enough. So I, 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 did, I went to the store when I got the ribs, and they didn't have the stuff there. So I had to go up to this place called, um, what, what is the name of that place? When Best that, Yet. Best Yet. Best Yet. Imagine a market named Best Yet. Well, it's funny. You walk into this place, and you just think it's a little dinky store. And then they have steps, a step stairway going down to the... Oh, well, I have an escalator. Escalator going down to the level below which is a full-size market. I mean, it's, yeah, it is yeah. amazing. It looks like it's just a little little bodega yeah, on the outside. Yeah. Anyway, so I go over there to get this, and sure enough, they have the rub. Okay, In fact, they have three types of rubs, you know, including a, um, a, a completely satisfying massage. But no, anyway. <laughs> uh, so I go to get the, I got the rub, and then I figure, oh, I'll get some, I got some stubs, uh, barbecue sauce because it's really good bar- barbecue sauce. I really always like it. And um, so I got that. So I'm here I'm just got the little thing in the bottle, right? And I go to the line to well, check out. Well, it's also out. during rush hour. Uh, the line to check out and it is... Around the corner. Yeah, it's a long line, okay? So I'm figuring, okay, well, I'll, I'll live with this. And I'm listening to the music and my earphones and everything and the line is progressing along. And, all, I, and I decide to go into this line, which goes to this amount of, ca- of ca- uh, checkouts, as opposed to this one, which has another bunch line of checkouts. And a separate line. Right? But they're two separate lines. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, I'm waiting. This one woman, they're taking all the stuff out of her bag, the food bag, and putting it into another bag. I can't figure out why, but this is going on forever. And to give you an idea, I think her bill was something like $269 oh, wow. or something like that. I mean, par- apparently she was going to buy out the store. And the guy in front of me who was at another counter, he had like 84 things he was putting there. Okay? But I'll wait. They're, you know, I've got a little bit of time. And then they uh, they finished with these two people. And I go, well, which one of you can is going to take me? And they said, neither of us were closing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, we're sh- we're closing down the cashier. We're ca- These you know, cashiers. The, the cashier thing. Both of them, two of them, and I'm going. Wait a minute, you know, I've been waiting in this line forever, and um, so finally, I just went into the other line, which was going pretty fast, and I got there before they ever got these other ones going. And I said to the woman, I said, 
you know, they really should do something. Those should be open, okay? So that, we, you know, you aren't, you've got people lined up and, and you need the, the extra people on, on. Especially during rush hour. Well, they should, they probably should have had every one of their. Yeah, their I mean, they're, com open. they're coming home from work and they're stopping to pick up whatever they need for dinner. Yeah. So she says to me, well, you know, they have to go home to, they, they have to go home to dinner or they have to go home. To eat. You know, they have to go home, I think is what she said. And I looked back at her and I said, so is everybody in line has to go home. <laughs> okay. You know, and I, I immediately said to myself, you know, if you have a store and you look and there's a big line, you put everybody you can on, on checkout yeah. so that you can take care of that demand. And that the customer is everything, and his comfort is everything. But nobody gives their shit anymore. <laughs> it's true, right? It's true. Nobody gives a goddamn shit. So I, uh, the, the, these are all service jobs. You know, the next thing I came up with, and I want to bring this up with you, is I just decided, fuck it. I hate New York. I'm getting there. I hate <laughs> fucking New York. I don't want to live here, but we're forced to live here. Why? Well, well until well, we solve our case. Because we're no, because we're 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 fighting for the life of this apartment. I mean, we could, uh, you know, who knows what the future may bring? But and my job is here. Your job is here, but you know, uh, uh, we were working on uh, on this case, you know, which we have to see to a conclusion. Oh my God, we have so much invested. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't back out now. Yeah. And, 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 but I'm just so sick of this town. It, it offers me nothing. I mean, in my old age, what I would rather do is move out to the country and be able to take nice walks in the woods. You, you know. wouldn't do it. No, I would. No, you I, wouldn't. No, the only reason I don't walk here is because there's nowhere to walk. There's a park two blocks yes, away. Yes, and I, you do that about 10 times, and you go, hey, I've done that 10 so times. So you do it 11 times or 12 no, times. No, yes. it, it, I'm so sick of the Harlem Muse. I know it by heart. So go a little further into the park. I do that. So go I to, have done that. Go to the I river. So, go to the river. Oh, I don't want to go to the river. Because if I go over there after living in New York City, I'm going to drown myself. It's ten seventeen. What are you? I'm what, just, are you what are you counting uh, the time for? Why? When you count the time, it not, drives me crazy. It's like I don't want to be here, <laughs> well, so I'm counting the time. <laughs> well, I asked for a night off. I did ask for a night no, off. No, you're not going to get a night off because you're only on one night a week. I mean, last week when there's nobody should have been on. Period. It was the day after Thanksgiving. I was exhausted, and you made me come. To the show? Uh, I made you come. To the Does show. Make you come? Really? Do we have to get that uh, open? What goes on with our life here? No, but uh, uh, no, I, I feel that it's only one day a week, and the people out there really, uh, they react to you. Look, uh, uh, g give us some uh, smiley faces or hearts and stuff across the screen. It'll take about a, about 30 seconds or so. If you, if you think that her participation in this show on Friday nights is very, very important. Do not do a happy face if you don't think it's very, very important. See, nothing's coming across. No, that's be now they're starting to. See? See? People, um. look at that. See how you're loved? Look at that. <laughs> Just tons of people. Look at that. I've never seen it that much. You know? So. So. So, there you go. What the hell, you know? So I'm. Mean, I just. I just. You know. I'm just sick of. Uh, I don't know. I'm sick of the city. I. I, I agree with you. Yeah, and uh, you know. I mean. I. 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 I don't know where we would go. The Carolinas are very nice. You know, <laughs> how did you come up with that one? Because it's not Florida. <laughs> we go to California. You couldn't afford California. California is more. Expensive. I can afford Cal. We where can, we can afford. Outs where outside of San Francisco? Yeah, like five hours. No. Yeah. No. Where you can go up, go where uh, where Damien lives up in Santa Rosa. I mean, believe me, they got a lot of places available now. You know, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of land. And, and that uh, no, but if if we went up north, for instance, I don't uh, know anyone out well, there. Well, I don't either. So let's go to a place where so we we'll get to know people. Yeah, when you're old, that doesn't happen. It does happen. No, it does. Who do I know here? You know, same people that I know. I know Shecky. 
Oh, uh, and we know Jack and Natalia, and I know nobody else. The rest of them are your friends. Well, but Jack and Natalia are my friends too. Yeah, but I mean, outside of that, you have Phyllis and Lee. They live all the way in New Jersey. That's well, that's like a foreign country to me. <laughs> anyway, that's for further discussion. When we when we go over there. We have to take a cab, and when we take the cab, how much is the cab? $65. $65 to get to Phyllis and Lee so we can go out and get in their car and go somewhere for hot, for food. I said to her, I'll pay your toll to come in the next time, as opposed to me taking a taxi. She could come in, and then we just go up on the, you know, on the New York side. I'll, and then but Yeah, because, and we could pay the toll. That would be cheaper than taking the... Well, it's like $20, maybe. The toll's 15 15 15 yeah. So I'll, I'll pay that rather than sixty five. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I mean, but anyway, I just I'm 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 sick of New York. I don't know. Uh, shall I do the show without my cap tonight? Well, you're doing it. Well, I am so far, you know. But uh, should I come over? You know what I I don't like though. Also, Chrome sucks. Have you ever noticed that it, this Chrome always? Moves. No, it freezes up. Yeah. Safari doesn't. Huh. Safari doesn't. Now, it could be that because I have so many things. I oh, have look like, what's coming across. Look, there's more smiley faces. <laughs> yeah, they, you give her a lot of smiley faces. She she will work for smiley faces, okay? I'm see? cheap. So they like, I come cheap. They like you being here. They don't like me. They hate me. Well, I don't like being here all the time. I, sometimes I, I need a day off. On my, my toes are hurting. Oh, here we go again. It might be the moo cow <laughs> thing. There we go. There, there you can, can see. Can you see it? Yeah. And there's one on the other foot, too. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Supposed to make me comfortable, huh? Yeah, well, it does. My feet are freezing for some reason. Oh, that's bad circulation. Yeah, uh, I'm. I've got. I've got some neuropathy going there uh. with the feet. You know, I'm. I. I saw a guy in our neighborhood. There are more people with walkers oh, than any neighborhood of, I've ever been in. There's a lot of seniors in. here. I, no, it's not seniors. It's. I see black people are in their like maybe early fifties who got walkers, and I don't know why. I think maybe black people have bad legs or something. You know. Yeah. It's but I see people with these things, and they they they've got them. They are not the walker walkers. They've got them with the with the little wheels. You know, it's kind of like oh, a, yeah, like a well, it's a, a support. It's an elderly scooter. It's a support. <laughs> they can walk with it, and they put yeah. these like tennis balls at the bottom. No, no, no. Them. That's that's on the ones that you go. Oh, mm, that, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I you never know. understood the tennis balls. I, well, you know, here's what I don't get. What. People go out, they get the tennis balls, and I think even They the get old tennis balls. Well, no, they get, you can get, or you can get a new tennis ball, yeah, it right, doesn't matter. Right. You don't want to get too old a tennis ball, otherwise it'll be rotting. But, <laughs> and then they put them on the bottom of these things. So the why purpose? don't they just make them with the tennis balls? What's the purpose of the tennis balls, though, at the bottom? No, well, I guess for traction or something. It's like just bigger... You could put but, a basketball but, there but too. But why don't why don't they just sell <laughs> them? It, why don't they just sell them with the with like, the with the tennis balls on them? But anyway, they're the kinds with the wheels, <laughs> and they got a little basket in the front. Right, and then if and they need and, to, if they need to, they can sit. They in can it. sit. There's yeah. a little bench yeah. and a sit thing. Yeah. So that you know that uh, I just looked at I that and I those. went, you know, the way my feet, my I got my torn meniscus and my feet are numb <laughs> and and hurt a lot. And uh, I think if you get a walker, uh, no, I don't. I don't have diabetes. I check with my. If doctor. you get a walker, we will take separate transportations to get to wherever we're going. Why? Because I don't want to be caught. You don't, you don't want to be seen with me, with, with right? A walker? With a walker. Oh, good. Only unless you get the one with the tennis balls. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Ten twenty-four. No. At the time of the bell, it will be ten. There's no bell here. Bing. Jack has a bell he uses he? on his show. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Jack. We don't use sound effects on this show. In fact, if Phil tries to use sound effects, we get rid of them. You know. I put this thing on my Facebook page. I said, you know, it's coming to the one year with Trump. I said, in one word, how would you describe it? And there must have been fifty or sixty response. Phil's response was brilliant. <laughs> You know, I said one word to describe. I know him. Phil. No, you okay. don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I, I, I knew Phil. I've known Phil longer than I've known almost anybody. 
Okay. That's what you have left in your life? Yeah. It's <laughs> Phil. It's Phil. But no, and I I know him, and he's a very nice guy. Yes, he is. I, I think the world of Phil on a personal level. Uh, politically, I can't believe he believes half the shit he says. Okay. Uh, but last night he did admit that the tax, <laughs> the new tax thing sucks. You know, it's going to suck for you too, folks. It's going to really suck for you. For everyone, especially seniors. And as we're doing this show tonight, uh, they're, they're, are they, have they passed it yet? I don't they even know. They say it looks like it's going to clear the Senate. Then yeah. it has to go to committee. To it, I think the Senate wants to do it at a time when it isn't going to be televised. <laughs> or when people aren't watching or up. Three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, That's probably why this Flynn thing was done to kind of detract from it. It, well, no, it wasn't meant to detract from it. Well, it has. But it certainly uh, puts it in a whole different uh, category. But anyway, so, and you got guys like McCain, who I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting a bet here that McCain will be dead before New Year. I think you're right. He's in a wheelchair now. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would easily say before New Year. So uh, put him on the Deadpool. No, you can't. You have to do the Deadpool at the first of the year. You can't do it. Yeah. Retroactively. You know how the Deadpool is played now. How? What you do is you get maybe like you get you get ten people to put on your Deadpool or five people, and then in your group, and then if any of those people die, and it, it, then what you do is subtract from a hundred their age or whatever, and that's the score. The difference between that and, you know, a hundred. So that if somebody dies at 35 who wasn't expected to, you get more points. more points than you would if you, you know, do somebody like John McCain, for instance. <laughs> All right? Uh, and uh, then at the end of the year, whoever has the most points wins. Wins. What? Or might be dead themselves, for all <laughs> we know. You know, that's how the Deadpool works. It's getting close. Huh? It's getting close. What's getting close? That end. What what end? <laughs> the end. It, you know, I just hope my f leg gets worse, my feet get worse, all of it gets worse, and that when I know I'm going to die, I won't feel bad about it. You know? I don't want to get to that point. I want to I want to go before I feel bad about. I want. What are you doing? Well, no, but I tonight. I was no. I was just thinking. I was. This is a thinking thing. Oh, I'm when doing. you scratch your head. Uh, I was watching Kimmel, who had on Doctor Who, uh, Matt Smith, Matt who Smith. was playing Prince Philip in, 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 the, in the Crown. Yeah, which, has, which is good. I, I think next week has its next season. Which and I'm he looking says, forward He says, to. by the way, all the actors on that show only do two years, and then they go to another cast so these people can get age. older, they so age. they can age. And um, they well, were talking about Prince Philip because he met him on one occasion at some... Uh, celebrity thing or whatever and Kimmel said how old is he do you know how old Prince Philip is he's 93 94 keep going 96 yep wow 96 years old and she's in her 90s oh yeah she's the the longest, longest living, living monarch, monarch in the history of the British Empire yeah right? or but yeah. history period. English and people <laughs> the English white, and people the white people yeah the, the extremely white people. I mean, you know, Brit, Brits go into the sun and they bleach. You know what's great about Mer Merkel? What's her first name? Angela. Angela. No, no, not her. The the prince. Oh, or, oh, what's her oh. Name? <laughs> Isn't it Markle or Markle, something? Markle, her yeah, last yeah, name? Yeah, Mer Merkel. She, no, she's Markle. divorced. She's three years older than Harry. And she's mixed. She's half black, half white. And. Yeah. And that, that she kind of, and she's American. And the 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 queen mum or the queen, the herself, queen gives her blessing. It, it gives her blessing, and everybody in the family loves it. But you can bet your life if he was the next in succession, they'd be going nuts right now. <laughs> you know, uh, she can't become an, a British citizen for five years. Yes, yeah, she's gonna. So what? So all the wonderful things they could do for her, you know, uh, all the wonderful 
names they can bestow on her they can't do for well the queen can name her anything she wants to. right she can and, and they usually do the naming at the wedding yeah it will probably be she could be a duchess yeah she wouldn't be necessarily a princess no, she wouldn't be your royal highness well she no the, the your royal highness thing does not would Good. not be. not be her so go either du uh duchess or yeah princess yeah uh or uh sir what what I'm well, well, no, I'm having such a good time talking to you, and the numbers are so high. We got a lot of people watching this. You know, we're getting a lot of people now. It's I kind amazing. Of agree with you on the Viking. The yeah, Vikings. I st we started watching Vikings we again. Couldn't even get through the introduction. And it's you know I, it's after just, he I, died. I, I've had it. Um, well, after he died. Once whatever his name went. <laughs> right. the, the main Viking, who it was all about. He was killed. Yeah, we, you know, who needs it? Yeah. You know, that's uh, that's my... my. Should I roll over? <laughs> what do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> roll me over. Roll, roll me over. over. Roll here me she over comes, here she comes. Well, again. let's let's turn on the Skype lines here. Uh, do, 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 online, there we go. We are online. What? Where are you going? You, 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 but my, the trouble. Uh, oh, here we go. Well, here comes, here comes, here, 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 and then here comes Phil. Let me, let me add Phil. Am I in this picture? Uh, look, wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. No, Come on, I you're, just, you're. I've got to do stuff here. I just want right? to worry about me. Just, boy, you are such a pain in the I ass. I want to worry about how you I are look. just a pain in the ass. Hello, guys. How are Hi. you? Hey, how's it going? Uh, somebody called Brilliant. me, and they were like oh, three or four people. Wait, wait a minute. Again? Hold, hold on a second. Listen, listen to him. What, Phil? Uh, somebody called, and there was like three or four of your uh, regulars yeah. on, a, on a bad connection. Yeah, me so too. I told them to hang up and, you know, use yeah. a fresh connection. Well, what was this? I wasn't even signed on. No, it was. Uh, you didn't have to be. Uh, uh, Renee or someone, uh, Rob, the same thing happened to you? Yeah, same. about 30 seconds ago. Right, exactly. So I hung up and called the right way. I answered a thing thinking it was you calling, but it wasn't. Oh, really? Okay. Let me see here. Let me, uh, here, hey, come, here comes Charlene. Yeah, that's uh, the usual suspects. <laughs> the usual suspects. Was she one of the ones that was calling? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I don't know how that was happening. Did Bobby Birth is called? connection that dialed out. Well, and it, I, I wasn't on the line. No, you didn't have to be. Really? Uh yeah, they just somebody used an old call, old call and, and oh, it really? called everybody on it. Oh, okay. Well, don't do that. No. <laughs> you know, you know what I got last night about oh, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning. You probably might have been woken up by it because my phone went off. Some woman was calling my Skype line. The the I don't think it was the Gabnet line. It was the other one that I had. Really? Yeah. And it was like, you know, one of these women who I, I guess was uh, trolling for guys, you know. It was to, hot on, to get, it was hot on Mr. Here. No, it wasn't hot on me. She was hot on whatever she could get out of me, you know. It could have been some guy calling from prison, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> trying to get a credit card number yeah. from you. Now, here here comes Renee. Was she one of the ones that was talking on she the line? She one of the suspects, yes. Okay, so we've got everybody here that was talking to each other before we went on the... Uh, on the for on the a second line. or two yeah hello do, do we have renee here we don't see her we can hear her. okay you... hi i just wanted everybody to know can you see me at all no, no. just I, your okay. elephant. J just the elephant but it looks a lot like just, you okay so hold on yeah. let me find it's the, out how to fix that it's the Renee's elephant in, in the room James is that. <laughs> okay Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 she, oh, oh, she's using her. Oh, she's using. What are you using? Your iPhone? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I forgot my iPad. But that's. It's raining, so I'm going to walk closer. That is Hilo Bay. He, so we're looking east. Wait a minute. Let me let me give people a bigger if, picture of this. Yeah. If James can hear me, please turn off the rain. Listen. So uh, I'm going to flip around. This is more of Hilo Bay. Yeah. And that's Old Town Hilo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's a 
big ass banyan tree, two big big banyan trees for everyone. Yeah. And this is the gazebo where people. Oh, would hang you? Out. I'll tell you when you when you're shooting it. Would you make sure that your lower third you don't ha you have the picture that you want to show us in the upper two thirds of the picture because in the bottom third we've got our uh, our uh, citizen panel, panel. In, a, in a right yeah. I could figure so. out how to flip this thing around. I would. Yeah. You need okay. those stabilizer so, things like Alex has. Yeah. Well, I, I was looking for one of those for an iPhone, but I couldn't find it. Well, one. Uh, the latest iPhones do have good stabilization in them, oddly enough. Okay, so I'm going to walk closer to downtown. Okay. Okay. okay so last week, last week we were in Dubai, <laughs> and this week You're we're in, in Hilo, Hawaii. Hawaii. Mm. It almost looks like hurricane night, weather. It's raining. Huh? It yeah. looks like hurricane weather a little bit. Like I don't think rainy, they, I right? don't think they what they get in Hawaii aren't hurricanes though. Are they uh yes. No? Yeah, I, we're we're at the end of the season. Oh, okay, so there're hurricanes there. Okay. Yeah. Cuz I was wondering but, if it was something snow today in Hawaii? Yeah, actually there's snow on the top of Mauna Kea which would be that way and you'll never see it cuz it's hours away. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Why don't you just stop walking for a second and let's just see a well, still yeah. picture. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me get to a place because I'm, other than standing in the middle of the goddamn street like be, a white person. Because if we have any <laughs> epileptics in the audience, please turn away from your set. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here comes it's like Jeff. Shower. Huh? It's rush hour, huh? It's rush it hour. It is rush hour. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me put her Rick up here. And let me try and get uh, Jeff. Uh, uh, well, there, there's Jeff. A big picture of yeah, Jeff. Yeah, I'm on. I don't know how what to do that. Oh, I know, I know how to do this. There we go. Okay. Uh, and uh, are you near the water? Is that the water out there? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Is that the water we're going towards? Yeah, actually it is. I won't be able to cross the road. But I can get you as close as possible. This is open ocean water. Yeah. Actually, technically, this is Hilo Bay. Mm -hmm. But I'll point you in the direction of the actual open ocean. Oh, okay. All I right. guess you don't know how the chicken got across the road. Yeah, it's rush hour. Right? It looks and it's like rain, it looks like the chicken. It looks like the chicken swam. <laughs> yeah, big time. Yeah. Where's Pearl Harbor? A different, Where's what? different island. She, she'd have to do yeah, some real swimming. She'd have to do oh. some real swimming for that one. Okay, so there here we, we go. go. Okay. So what brings you to downtown Hilo? Renee has to get a root canal, so the de best dentist is in downtown Hilo. Oh, the no. only dentist is in downtown Hilo. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's actually so. You can okay. see the light okay. right out there. That's the end of the harbor. So that direction is open ocean. Okay. Frame it in the upper two-thirds of your picture there. And uh, don't move around too much. And let's just uh, get a, a nice view of what's going on. There we are. Eddie Cam or something. Okay. Well, we've had enough of the travelogue. <laughs> All right. I'm going to listen to you guys on my way home. It'll take me about two hours. So oh, uh, I only get to listen. It'll take you two hours? Is that how far you have to go to get a root canal? Yeah. What some people <laughs> won't do to the get Novocaine, a root canal. The Novocaine's going to wear off by then. You won't, you, know, you won't make it there. Well, no, the good news is this dentist says he uses gas, so oh, I'm very oh, well, excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and, I'm really happy. And just to let everybody know a little history, yeah. this is kind of a flat area. There actually was a tsunami in the late uh, late 30s or 40s mm -hmm. that came from this area and went 65 miles up into Hilo, destroying everything that you're looking at currently. And that was when? That was back in the 40s. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So this would this is brand well not brand new. <laughs> well, I hope I, I hope it, the weather's fine until your uh, your your root canal is over with. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thank you. And, uh, well, the root canal is next week. And, and um, well, when you're getting that gas, uh, make sure you don't get molested. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's younger than me. There's no way that man is going to touch me. <laughs> uh, well, You'd be surprised. Well, wait a minute. My question is, if he did, how would you feel about that? He's a doctor. I, he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> It yeah, depends yeah. on how much gas she gets. Yeah. <laughs> what a wants. Huh? 
It's what every Jewish girl wants. Right, exactly. a doctor. <laughs> okay, Renee. We'll see you. We'll, All right. we'll talk to you, I guess, Monday or Tuesday, rather. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 It's Renee Bye. reporting from uh, Hilo, Hawaii, Bye. ladies and gentlemen. Aloha. Yeah. Okay. Let me Mahalo. see here. Mahalo. Well, no, that's thank you. Uh-huh. That's thank Welcome, you. Dano. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hate the term mahalo because they use it too much over there. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, uh, because they had a, uh, uh, they had a, oh, well, Mahalo for flushing the toilet. Yeah, yeah, Ma- I, I saw one that said Mahalo for not smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> anyway, so, uh, well, a nice little group here. Maybe we'll get more people tonight, but we had a little travelogue there, uh, taking us out to the wonderful, uh, town of Hilo, Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I won't be Hawaii. on for much longer. I got a take my shit and uh, pack it up and i'm going to monterey tomorrow uh well, and, stick around for a little while until i get yeah. more people all right okay uh, so nobody yeah. else calls so he has to stay all the whole show <laughs> yeah, yeah my uh uh I, there's a photographer friend of mine who's a lightroom guru and uh so he's doing some stuff to my computer so i've got to take it down there along with my robo and everything else to uh have them put some software on set it up your drobo dro- yeah that's uh my um my uh, disk drives i have five uh eight terabyte disk drives in a in a thing that you will uh, never fill them up I, I hope not you know because i mean i've got I've got, I've got network drives to. It's not a network drive. It's a. It's a. Uh, it's. Oh, um, oh well, you got a network sto- storage. Though. You got to no, put it's them on storage. Yeah, you got to put them on network. Well, this can't be a network. This is it just is, storage. Yes, it can. Uh, <laughs> the no. Well, this one is not made to be a network. Oh well, but then you got you got ri- you got ripped off. Well, no, uh, <laughs> it's it's um, it's a RAID six. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, but storage. you're never going to fill it up. So why why do you have that much? Be- uh, because you so, know, because you know how to piss away money. No, no. You see, out of all of that, I only have actually 21 terabytes of storage. The uh, the rest is backup <laughs> stuff, and uh, 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 and you know, with a 47 megabyte camera now, uh, it isn't going to take that long. Uh, you know, uh, it'll tell you, believe me, it'll take quite a while. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, as time goes by, the cameras are going to be a hundred megabytes. And what happened to the, what happened to the, Oh, you know, look who's here. Somebody else from Hawaii tonight. James Lee is calling. It's funny, James, because I was thinking about you just last night and wondering why we hadn't heard from you in a while. It's not raining uh, in his picture. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, how you doing folks? Yeah. Hey. What is? Yeah, I heard Auntie Renee on the on the line a little bit earlier. Good yeah. signal coming in on the other side. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Is that feedback we're getting from you? Bird. Oh, is that a bird? No, it's cookie frogs behind me. That's uh, what you're hearing. Uh, those are frogs. That's right. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, cookie frogs. <laughs> what are they called again? Cokey frogs, C O Q U I. Cokey frogs. And why do they call them that? Who knows? You guys brought them in. Somebody uh, brought them in. They weren't. They weren't part of the islands. They were brought in by mistake. Oh, what they're not you? endemic. No. Yeah, they got <laughs> just like just just like rats and all that other good stuff that came off the ships. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Are they good eating? It, it, it's still raining out here, and as you oh. know, my walls are back here are nice and damp. They're saying cokey. Cookie, that's where the name comes. The way yeah. that cookie, cookie, cookie. Yeah, you you kill them by crushing them with a shovel. Ooh, <laughs> that's oh. humane. Oh, oh, that's that, that's non toxic. Are they are they a pain in the ass? You get used to the noise. Pretty, it's like hearing cable car bells, Mister Bennett. You know, I lived on Jackson Street. I got used to those damn things. Yeah, but this is a little different than cable car bells. This is oh, a, same I thing. Know. I used to hear the drunks on that cable car coming up at midnight. This isn't you even a frog that goes ribbit ribbit. This, this is a frog. <laughs> sounds to me like what you got is a frog who screams. Oh, hey, get used to it. It's, it's like you're living in Harlem. Same thing. Hey, come on. Are you equating black people? To frogs? No, I'm just, I'm just equating noise pollution. Oh, okay. okay. 
Yeah, I do have a lot of drunks out, out of my window at about 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, when I'm trying yeah. to go to sleep. Yeah, I lived in Chinatown. You know, we had everything going on. Yeah, yeah. I have a friend that moved from Australia to New York City. Uh, he's a photographer, and he's uh, he says that the that the sound that it never stops that all there oh, is oh, is right. sirens <laughs> and, and, and horns and twenty four seven absolutely never stops. A absolutely <laughs> absolutely I'm telling you that there is a level of noise you get to the country and you go it's too quiet I can't go to sleep I need a sound that's effect right. record yes that's right you know. Because you get, we know when the cable cars would stop running, it'd be all too quiet. We know something's wrong. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I am, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, very much a, a, a proponent of, uh, of uh, uh, having no noise at all. But unfortunately, I live my life with noise. It's another reason I want to leave New York. I'm sick of the noise. Do you have one of those white noise machines. Do you have one of those white noise machines? You know something? The noise in this city is my version of white noise. Well, no, no, no. The, they, it plays the same kind of noise, and what it does is it cancels the noise that you're getting outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, it's called a white but, noise machine. Yeah, I know it's a white noise machine. <laughs> By the way, do you know what kind of noise annoys an oyster? What? Uh, a uh, noisy noise annoys an oyster. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, now, Rob, Rob, you look like you're deep in thought about something. Are you? Are you still trying to get that computer going? No, I'm just reading. Oh, really? What are you reading? CNN. And what? What? And, and oh, you know what? You we can do it. Here's Rob with the news. <laughs> yeah, I'm just just looking around and. and uh, oh, has anything new happened with the Flynn thing? Uh, uh, some he, guy. The, the White House has announced uh, this evening that they have no plans to pardon uh, Flynn. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> That's too bad. Isn't somebody else? Uh, oh, the, the guy from Def Jam Records uh, 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 stepped down and there was some sort of allegations against him. Uh, sexual harassment. Yeah, sexual no, that, was, that, that, that story is 24 hours old. By the way, I've got to say, uh, I'm not going to answer that. Well, let me answer this. Let me see who it is. By the way, uh, James, uh, you've got yes. your, you're in the dark and I can barely yeah, see you. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, signing off now. I've got to put my dogs in. So, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll join you guys uh, next time. Okay. Aloha and we'll, and everyone out there, be good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Try. Bye bye. Have a good okay. Evening. Bye bye. No That's James Lee, ladies no, 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 no. and gentlemen from uh, from Hawaii. Uh, somebody just called us. Unknown caller. It says, uh, "Who is this?" Hello. Can you hear me? Probably the one from last night. This person did it last night, and I would I would block them, except it says unknown caller, and that's generic. Yeah. And. Uh, so anyway, uh, unknown caller, uh, fuck you. Uh, let me remove them. There we go. I've removed them from the uh, from the equation. Hello, uh, uh, Mike. Hello, Mike. You've joined us this evening. Hello, hello, hello. The only problem with New York is you guys got too many garbage trucks and too many cabs going at the same time. Really? Am I right? What do you mean? Noise. The noise level. Uh, you got a lot of things going here. You know, yeah. the worst is the sirens, you know, uh, because they I, I would just say that they should use them discriminately and they don't uh, because at, at three o'clock in the morning, sirens. Whoop, 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 whoop. And I don't know that you need a siren that time of the day uh, unless you get to an intersection or something where you think there might be somebody coming through because the streets are kind of empty. The, the law is in California for emergency vehicles, if you have your uh, lights on, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the, the red lights or blue lights, mm -hmm. uh, emergency lights, you have to have the siren on at the same time. <clears throat> so you can't have one without the other. Right. Right. And I would imagine <coughs> that it would be similar in New York. Right. Right. So, yeah. uh, but uh, uh, the, the point is that I think that they, they don't need to use them all the time. I really I don't really think so. I think there should be a law, you know. Yeah. Well, who's got who's got their audio up? 
Okay, good. Uh, I, I just, you know, it's just annoying. It's another one of the reasons I want to move out of New York. Now, yeah, look, look at to? Jeff. Jeff lives in Connecticut. That's a smart man. It's probably, <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't have a lot of noise up there, do you, Jeff? I sure did today. I was in Manhattan. Well, no, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> Jeff, what's the state income tax in uh, Connecticut? You can't afford it. I know. <laughs> I know. It's that's very my, expensive. You know, the next time you come into Manhattan, you should give me a call oh. or write me. I will. And, and we'll will. get together and we'll uh, have some lunch or something. I would love to, That'd be great. love to see you in person. You know. The same thing to any of you if you're in New York. But, you know, the only one that ever gets up here occasionally is Rob. And we should do dinner again sometime when you... Uh, we were planning on it. I was going to, if I hadn't, you know, there's something at work this, uh, this yesterday, which was going to cause me to have to be there from Thursday, and then I would have stayed the weekend. The plan was to call you and do that. However, yeah. that I was staying in Manhattan. Yeah. The problem was that got canceled. Oh. But I w you would have heard from me. I would okay. have said, hey, I'm going to be in the city. Let's get together. Yeah, I would love to love to see you. any of you if you're out this way, except for Phil. I don't want Phil around here. Uh, we could probably come in and steal stuff. You know, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you want that silverware back? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let me, let me I, I'm going to tell you a story. A story. There's nothing worse than getting something stolen from you in your own house. OK. And um, I I thought I was going nuts because I, I would count my money. OK. At one day and the next day, because uh, uh, there, Marjorie was going to do a wash, she would take my money and put it on top of the nightstand. OK. Uh, and the next day I would look at the money at the end of the day and I was like one hundred dollars light. And I went, am I crazy? Did I count wrong? I must have counted wrong. And this happened twice in a month. And all Same of a sudden, I, I started equating it with something. And so I put out a honey pot. And I caught this person stealing. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Was it the maid? And Well, I'm not going to say who it is, but, you know, who else could it be, you know? Yes, my it was my it was the woman I uh, woman I was cheating with Mar uh, Marjorie with, uh, you know. Uh, uh, nothing makes you feel more violated than something like that happening. And I had a an envelope full of money that I just kept around because I always like to have a little bunch of cash. And one time, all of a sudden, fifteen hundred dollars was missing from that, and I thought I was I was crazy. But I'm beginning to think that's where it went. You know, but it, it, I can't prove any of this. She, I mean, she denied that, you know, the money had been taken or anything like that. But come on. What was it? A fairy came in during the night and stole the money? You know, so. That sucks. Yeah, it I really sucks. Your own house. Well, you know what sucks about it? We have to find somebody else to clean the place. Yeah, yeah exactly. But you trusted that person to come in and everything. And yeah, yeah. And uh, I got a friend in New York yeah. that it cost him. Uh, to stay out of prison, $20 yeah. million, dollars because he, the maid, he accused the maid of stealing from him, and he must have been so stoned that he took an ashtray, a, 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 a glass ashtray, and he threw it at the maid. Police oh, came, they arrested him. When they arrested him, uh, this guy had so much money, he had a belt buckle that was insured for $185,000. Uh, the belt buckle was taken by the police. The next morning when he was released, the belt buckle was gone, and Chubb Insurance actually paid him the 185 grand, and now is going after the New York Police Department. You can look this up. His name is George Bardwill, B-A-R-D-W-I-L. Yeah. And if you Google him, right. uh, uh, you can... Uh, uh, you know, he'll uh, this will this will come up as well as you know a couple of other crazy things like some home invasion robberies and yeah. yeah. Uh, so, by the way, I'm doing something here, folks. In case you're wondering what all that white space is, there is some woman who wants to call us called Sabrina McKinney. Now the question is, oh, that's is, Jason's uh, Jason's is, oh, wife. Is that really? Oh, okay, yeah. I just sent him a thing saying you know. Uh, you know, you, you're, we're online, you know, I, I become a contact. 
So Sabrina. So, well, that's Jason's wife. It, it really? Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, let me let me see if I can call. Let me add to group, and let's call and see. Uh, I don't know if that is this. I don't know if that's that Sabrina. Oh, so you, uh, maybe a uh, a spoof? Uh, could be, could be. But anyway, we're uh, we're we're calling her back. Or he's using uh, her. Uh, hello, uh, Sabrina. Sabri Sabrina. Sabrina, are you there? No, but Jason is. Sabrina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you there, Sabrina? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Jason. I can hear you. They have the, uh, the uh, Skype screwed. But they mess something up mark was talking about it i think last week yeah the whole uh, thing turn was on, all turn on, turn, up now i couldn't even log in and turn on turn on your camera yeah if i can find it now yeah uh but it, all i know is it signed in as sabrina as opposed to your name yeah i put in my email account and uh yeah it didn't come up right well i thought i was gonna look to uh, look at a hot looking woman but look who we have here ladies and gentlemen Looking woman, a hot look. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your shirt. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. Uh, how you doing, Jason? Pretty good. If I could figure the damn Skype out. Oh, wait, well, what? How? How is it different than it's ever been when you use it? it it's horror. Like I said, I I couldn't even log in. It wouldn't let me log in as me. I'm putting in my uh, what I thought were my old credentials, and it wasn't accepting them. And so I did start to make a new account and I'm putting in my email address and resetting the password and then saying, hi, Sabrina, no contacts are in there. I'm trying to call you. And obviously you, knew, you saw, I, I didn't have you as a contact. Did, did you and, somehow uh, lose your, you're not using the browser version, are you? No, I think it's the, the app. Cause it, that's why I just it, clicked on the app. That oh, okay. was in my it's, bar on it's, the bottom. it's the old app, right? Yeah. But it's totally different setup. And right now, uh, you know, it could be it could be up, you signed on using the browser version. Are you on a Mac or a PC, Jason? A Mac. Yeah. Well, no, see, we had it. the same problem last week. Really? Mine, mine and, changed too over the last week, and I just figured it was you, an update. You know what? Everybody's a little circle now up in the corner. I haven't used. Yeah. I haven't used. I don't usually use my uh, uh, my private account, which is on the Mac. Uh, unless I'm, of course, calling to uh, tell Amy to go to hell, uh, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, and and I've uh, often noticed that there's a, it's an entirely different orientation on the Mac than Skype is for the PC. And my feeling is, if you're going to do a program, don't you want to make it so it goes cross-platform and looks the same on every platform? But yeah, he, because the same thing has changed on mine. I can only get four people in large squares on the window, and then there's, you know, three or four different circles up in the corner where it used yeah. to be able to let everybody in. So I, I, just, I yeah. tried the views and everything. It's I the same thing. Says I have an update available on Skype. It's the same thing with this version of Skype and the uh, paid version of Skype. I was with my boss today, mm -hmm. and. He, we attended a meeting. He held a meeting, and he said to me, "You need to help me out because I don't know how to record on Skype for Business." So I said, "Oh, I know how to do that. Said, there are these place where these three dots are. You click it, and then you click." So we, he said, "I sit down next to him, and he, I said, oh, you got a Mac.'" So we clicked the three dots. There was no record option there. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I wound up having to record it on my PC. So Skype is different both on uh, the professional or the paid version or the free version on mac and and windows so yeah well it could be uh, that, it could be that mac has updated i wouldn't know though i'd have to go check yeah uh, it, was, it seemed like it happened right around the os 11 change because i was it, gonna say i did do the uh os uh the, or not the os 11 but the what was a high sienna or whatever high sierra, high sierra yeah yeah well but that I, didn't change then it was after the 11.01 Whatever they're doing now, I think yeah. it's a dot two now. Well, let's talk about some of the business of the day. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing much happened in the news. <laughs> I turn it on; it's just the same old thing. No, it's the shit has hit the fan. Yes, um, <laughs> it's not. Well, uh, oh, here we go. I knew we were going to get this out of Phil because he's taking the, he's, the he's taking the White House Phil. talking points, which is, oh, we're not worried. Meanwhile, they're hustling their asses off trying to figure out, you know. What country they can move Basically, to. Flynn said 
his family. He he's exhausted uh, and he's broke, and so he, so they they broke okay. him down to the point where he just said, "Okay, oh, I'll tell okay. you whatever you want to know." But uh, well, uh, apparently there's stuff they should know. He's already yes, said no. a very senior member of the of the uh, of the team, the, uh, the <laughs> Trump's son. <laughs> For 27 days, he was a senior member. Doesn't matter. He could have been there for 15 minutes. He kept yeah. everybody in the loop. Yeah, well, you know, what they're saying is, is that there's nothing wrong with him having contact with, uh, uh, with the Russians. What, what they got him for was that uh, he had, had testimony, and then he couldn't remember something or a date changed or something, and that's what they indicted him on. He, he said not to, he told Putin not to react. To the day after the Obama sanctions went in place, he told Putin, don't react to them. Don't do anything. There's a whole timeline of events that went on. What he's trying to do is, the, and they're even considering the Logan Act, because he's messing with what a pre, uh, he's messing with what the current president was doing. Trump wasn't president. And don't they have those uh, calls that's not just... Part. He wasn't part of the Trump administration at that time either because Trump member, wasn't president. Right, but he was a member of the – he was a lead, one of the leading members of the uh, transition team. Yeah. And the but, senior person that he's talking about is his son-in-law who's going to go to prison well, too. And uh, they don't have – I don't think they just have it that records of these calls took place at this time. I think they actually have those calls recorded. Well, keep your fingers crossed on this thing because let's say That's they get Trump. If they can also prove that Pence knew what was going on, they can get him too, and then we've right. knocked them both out of the saddle. Now that He's leaves us Ryan. with it leaves us with Ryan. Ryan. Ryan I, I'd rather I'd re rather live with Ryan, believe it or yes. not, than any Me of do. those two douchebags. Me too. No, because by the time this is going to happen, it's going to be next year or after the 2018 election, and Nancy Pelosi is going to be back in power. And it's going to be Nancy Pelosi. Yay, we got our woman. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's somebody's argument. You know, <laughs> I, I, you know something. I got to tell you this, and uh, I, I, I don't know. Take it as you will. But I, I like the days when women stayed in the kitchen and didn't run into politics. I, <laughs> as long as they I weren't. Right. Out, uh, you know, oh, all they, they do is so they go into gonna... Congress and they do what they do best, which is nag. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's just it's it's a pain in the ass. I just thought I'd be Republican for a moment here. Thank you. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him, Charlie. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, get him. Where's he was your saying you should be barefoot pregnant hat. in the kitchen. Yeah. Alec, where's your Make America Great Again hat? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I've got, I, I, I got my it's Chinese one. The Chinese communist one, really. My, Same thing. Uh, make China Great Again hat. How's that? <laughs> See? That's an official Uncle Chinese Miles hat. <laughs> uh, hat. I bought this in China. Also, I'm I'm wearing this again tonight, but I didn't I didn't wasn't showing it. Uh, it's my it's my it's my uh, little uh, uh, T-shirt that I have that uh, uh, is um, uh, I guess that's supposed to be Barack Obama. I bought this in uh, in Beijing as well. He posed for huh. He posed for that. He posed for that? Oh, okay. That was when he was with the Army, I guess. You know? No, it was when he was in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so uh, how do you feel uh, uh, this is going to affect the presidency? I mean, do you think they're getting, uh, the Mueller's getting too close? And what happens if all of a sudden oh, oh, Trump decides to fire Mueller? Well, if this was the Clinton administration, Mueller would turn up dead somewhere. Yeah, you know, uh, like uh, most of the other people. <laughs> Make America okay. smart Foster. again. Yeah. Yeah, it's Foster. You got that, you got that from J Jack, right? Yeah. Jack gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I've got on my, I, I, I now have my Red Army hat on. So. <laughs> Has anybody seen the video of Flynn when he was uh, standing up during the campaign and yes. he said, he led the locker up chants and then after it he said, if I did half 
or what Hillary Clinton did, yeah. I would be in jail. Well, yes. here you go. You're well, going. Well, when I when I when I watched that, I was yelling back, "Lock him up! Lock him yeah. up!" <laughs> well, I'm wondering what kind of deal he cut. You know, if he cut a deal, does that deal have jail time, or does that deal just no, exonerate? Five him? years. Five years. Five years in a jail, federal prison. With I'm sure clubs. he's been told that they would not throw him in prison. Uh, yeah. If he cooperated and it, it's up to, you know, that's an open deal because if he doesn't cooperate, Mueller can then hit him with, oh, they have a lot of other charges against him too. They never charged him with. Right. So they can charge him with that stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, he's got to, he's got to, he's got to sing like a bird. Yeah. Uh, and it's got to be credible too. It can't be, you know, phony fuck. Well, you know, the Trump administration's claim to fame is that he lied to them. That's why they fired him. Yeah. He lied. Yeah. To them. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, you know, that, up, that but up look. until that time, he had been such close buddies with Trump. He went through th two, three campaign, uh, right. the guys running the campaign with Trump, riding on the plane all the time and being his closest confidant. All right, so when he got rid of him, he got rid of him for expediency. Bob Ebert has his hand up. Yes, Bob. Yeah, uh, they were uh, saying that Obama specifically told Trump not to trust. Not to trust uh, Flynn, yeah. Right. Flynn and was now, uh, the, uh, White House. now the Trump organization is trying to say that... Uh, Obama is the one who set Flynn up to contact the Russians. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> who said that? Huh? The Trump Trump did. Trump yeah, did. because he had contact in 2014 when he got fired from the Obama administration. That was 2014. And uh, was there some issue going on there? And then they uh, they said that he had this Turkish guy kidnapped. Uh, no, there was a Turkish guy. There was a Turkish guy the Turkish government wanted back, and it was over yeah. here. And that he was trying to create a situation where somehow he'd be kidnapped and taken back to Turkey. Oh, it's as credible as uh, as Trump not being an American, and 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 which of course Obama is, not being an American. I'm sorry, yeah. Obama not being an American, and he's cracking. Let's false start that news. one. Let's start that one. That Trump isn't an American. That he's Speaking actually of false fake news. Yeah. Has anybody seen the CNN quick promo that they did? Is they have a campaign going on. It's a white background screen, and there's a red delicious apple in the center of the screen. Has anybody seen this? No, no. Yeah. It, you see, I, I have it here. Well, Listen to this if, well, if it'll play. I'm not well, sure. Well, don't it, run it because that might take us off the air. Uh, Facebook gets very funny I, about that. Even the audio might it, trigger it. He got busted nope. the other night. Even the audio might trigger it. Well, basically, he said there's just a picture of an apple there, and it's a white, just a white screen. And they said, this is an apple. Some people may say it's a banana. Some people may put it in caps. This is a banana. But this is an apple. And then <laughs> they have a, uh, you know, it go, it's much more elaborate than that. It's really cool the way they did it. Yeah. And then at the very end it says, uh, oh, I, I, let me skip to the very end here. What they're, the logo, facts first, CNN. Wow, that's Fake good. Fake news. Uh, that's uh, good. Uh, Fake that's news. Good. Fake news, yeah. Yeah, you must sell them or direct TV fake news. Well, you know, I say in that impeaching thing, what is that? There's a man and he's with an impeachment. Some thing. guy with more money than he knows oh, what to oh, do. Yeah, with this guy, this Trump. guy Stecker or Stiker or Sticker. Yeah, yeah, who is that guy? Uh, I don't know. A guy with a lot of money, yeah. uh, who decided to do his own ad campaign about oh. impeaching Trump. Yeah, uh, and uh, he, I see it. A lot of places, so he's spending right. a lot of money now. I don't he's know a, who, who. He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire. Uh, yeah, they said. Okay, well they then he, Trump's a billionaire. So yeah, well, yeah, tr Trump is. <laughs> he's not though. He's not a, anywhere near a billionaire anymore. This running, this becoming president has actually probably Cost stifled his his money. Although he, who knows what what businesses he still doesn't have control, he has control over, because he hasn't divested himself of anything. They said the Trump Hotel in Washington is doing wonderful. 
uh, that there's more people that want to stay there. But oh, Mar-a-Lago, a number of those other resorts, there's been a ton of, uh, of functions that were canceled uh, at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, I think 23 of them yeah. and, you know, big galas uh, that they would have there and uh, catered galas. And that's, uh, you know, where they yeah. put together a lot of their revenue. By the way, what's the rattling going on there? I hear some rattling. Hey, somebody's got their microphone. Charlene keeps on lighting up, but then uh, Mike, uh, you can uh, hear uh, him breathing it, a lot, too. Well, no, I think it's I think it may be Charlene's microphone is tapping against her or something. Either uh, that, that or she's got a short or something. Uh, you know, it sounds like a wire. No, it's not. It's not a wire. Uh, but it's it's it sounds like your mic is hitting something there, Charlene. So just be careful with that. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, who knows where this is going to wind up? But uh, from what they say, there are sources within the White House tonight saying that all of this with Flynn is very, 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 and it's three varies serious. That was the quote given to them. Well, they're scared. I don't blame them. Yeah. They're trying to figure out what their liability is. Individuals. Yeah. What about Trump? It's going to be any man, every man for himself if this thing really starts to unravel. I think everybody pretty much on this panel, including Phil, would love to see Gerald Kushner behind bars. It's just there's just something about him that wants you to see him be <laughs> Bubba's bitch. You know I what I'm saying? Gonna... Does that mean Ivanka will be available for dating? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Donald will pick right up on that. Yeah, if you yeah. want to dip anything in that honey pot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what were you, Rob? Rob, Rob, I mean, isn't there a certain delight in knowing that there's a possibility Gerald Kushner will go to prison? I hope so. He's just such a snotty guy. You and know? then second to that, Mike Pence. I want to see him in prison, too. Yeah, yeah, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. Yeah. Hey, my other camera. We'll get to meet a lot of mothers. What? What? What are you saying? My we'll old get to camera. meet a lot of mothers. Uh, yeah. What were you saying, Phil? My old camera on eBay just met the reserve, so it looks like I uh, am going to be down one Nikon. Wait a minute. We're talking about important shit here, and you're talking about <laughs> it's up the... to two grand. <laughs> it's up to two grand. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? Uh, I bought it used for forty five hundred. Oh well, then I don't think you're gonna have a big day today. No, I'm happy to get rid of it at two grand, uh, because the store only offered me thirteen hundred. So, uh, and it may go up further. It's still got four days left to go. Yeah, well, it, it, it won't, you won't see a real rush on it till the last like last ten minute. minutes. Yeah. Uh, I went. I did one of those once with a uh, with a machine I wanted because I had some DAT tapes and I had nothing to play them on. So I went on eBay, and for a hundred bucks, I bid on a on a DAT machine. What's that? And then it turned out it was the wrong one, so I had to then bid on another DAT machine. But the thrill of winning, because at the last minute everything starts going really fast, and you just keep pumping up ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. And I got it for a hundred bucks, and I, uh, I I won it, and I just I felt this exhilaration. It was like gambling, you know. I know, I know. Yeah, well, uh, this one I only paid forty five hundred for it, but I bought it. It was a year old, and it was sixty five hundred new. So, uh, and and it's like a two hundred two thousand thirteen model. Yeah. So it's it's really getting long in the tooth. Okay. Anyway, Jason, I say, imagine that feeling that you had, Alex, except for with a house. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, yeah, I, I, you bid I on your my house, house through auction. I had to bid on this apartment. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, they could only do it. Only. They could only do like one bid. I think was the was the deal. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, but it, it was like you know they wanted four thousand a month, and then they said the other people have ordered offered more, but we can't tell you what. And so we said, okay, we'll go forty two. And next thing you know. We got it. We won it. You could have gotten 52 and still paid the same you're paying yeah. now. Yeah, and then it turns out that he <laughs> legally couldn't rent this to us for 4200 But that's another story. And yeah. the court case, we're, we finally have a, uh, there are some court proceedings going on in about a week or two. Hmm. Uh, it won't resolve the situation, but it will. There's a fight going on uh, where everybody says, me, proclaim me the winner, judge, before we even have a trial. And uh, so then they're going and pleading that stuff, and it's uh, 
you know, much will that cost you? It probably won't cost me as much as the piece of paper that he wrote up, which was a lot of work. It was a very scholarly work, I have to admit. It cost me uh, cost us eleven thousand dollars. Ooh. Yeah, but it it literally <laughs> it, take, it takes the whole case and puts it in a memo. And it is brilliant. <laughs> it is just brilliant. I read this and I was cheering it as I read it. Uh, uh, but the, the, so far as him going to court, what is that? It's going to be like two hours. So it's going to cost me 800 bucks. It's nothing compared to what we've already paid. You know, so. Yeah. And we already did depositions and all of that. You know, this thing's been going on. Do you realize Mar Marjorie told me, uh, I think we're into this four years now. Are they billing you for the paper clips? Oh uh, yeah, sure, of course. Yeah. They're lawyers. What what do you what do you think? Yeah, you know, I I, I had a lawyer once. I uh, I actually um, called him up to wish him a happy birthday, and the next month my business manager got a bill for it. Was I'm that Mister Turtle? It was Mister Turtle. Yes, yes. Who said that? Who 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 said that? About that was me, Turtle. Jason. Oh, Jason. Okay. I, didn't see who said hey, that. Uh, I, I used to get these well, letters. Wait a minute, wait, hold on a second. I had a lawyer named Mr. Turtle. I'm not kidding yeah. you. And it was Mr. Turtle, by the way. I had a lawyer named Mr. Turtle, and then I got rid of him because, you know, when you're, when you're in litigation, you can't say, oh, yeah, you're going to fuck with me. Well, you got to talk to my lawyer, Mr. Turtle. <laughs> right? So True. my next lawyer, perfect. His name was Fred Reamer. There you go. And uh, Fred Reamer was much better because I could say to somebody, you want to fuck with me? You can fuck my lawyer, Mr. Reamer. <laughs> and believe it or not, his mother was a lawyer as well. Uh, and her name was Ass. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, 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 and and she, she was a divorce lawyer, and their firm was Skinner and Reamer. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, if I'm going to get a divorce lawyer, I'm getting Skinner and Reamer. Okay, yeah. you know. So. My divorce uh, lasted about a year and a half, and uh, my and then you were married there. again, or what was the story? Uh, oh, yeah. I see. And so, uh, and so the. Uh, what would happen is every time the guy'd go on vacation, I get a letter and I get a bill for it, like twenty two dollars yeah. and fifty cents yeah. or something like that, uh, it, it, to let me know he was going on vacation. So I called him and I said, "Hey, look, I don't want to know if you're on vacation. I don't really give a damn. Don't mm. send me the letter and don't bill me." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, I with 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 uh, Turtle, I I sent him a, a, a birthday. Uh, uh, I called him and wish him a happy birthday, and we got billed. Uh, and uh, so then I was I was new into computers at that time, and I learned how to write a program, and I wrote a program just for him and gave it to him, and I called it the uh, lawyer meter. And what it is is when somebody calls you, you simply press the button and it starts, you know, you put in, you put in how much money you charge an hour. And then you press the button when you start talking to somebody and it starts rolling over, rolling over, rolling over. And then you push, press stop when you're through and it tells you how much money to charge them. He didn't like that. He didn't like it because it didn't round up. He, 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 yes. He, <laughs> felt, he felt that was insulting, you know. And I said, then don't send me a, 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 a don't charge me for wishing you a happy fucking birthday. Yeah, that's a bit. I would be insulted by that. I was insulted, yeah. But you know, I had a lot of fuck you money in those days, so um, you know, I cared, but not enough. Uh, uh, so anyway, we got we got we got the the Flynn thing today. There was a but there but we have another thing going on. Have they passed it yet? Have they has the Senate passed the bill? Acting. Now, huh? They they have We're enough votes right now. Then Coker is the only one I think that said he wasn't going to uh, vote for it. But the other guy that's uh, uh, from Arizona, Flake, that, Flake, Flake, yeah. that uh, Trump has been going after, says he's going to vote for it. Yeah. Would and, you use Corker, Phil? Mm -hmm. oh, Coker, Coker, Corker. It's Corker, right? Yeah, Corker. Yeah. He's a Republican. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it seems like they have the votes for it. Penn, full yeah. house. Yes. Full house, yeah. And, uh, yeah, uh, John, if you can, just scoot over a little bit to your right. 
a little bit because we have you on the edge. There we go. I see. I, yeah. Yeah. You I see. look. I'm. I'm more over to the left. But I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That way we, then, we can see. I'm there somewhere. Does the flush come after that? <laughs> One more, and you get a flush. A royal flush. And he's allowed Actually, to do that, Alex. The flush. Yeah. Well, you know something. I Mike found out like the other night uh, when we Mike go. Looks like, he's, like he's halfway off the screen here, but when we just, go more, maybe that's just me. When we go more than this, I. Oh found, no, he's better if he's full screen. He looks great. <laughs> uh, 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 when we go more than this, I find there's a real problem because I had trouble. I have trouble coordinating everybody. You know. Uh, right. You know, Phil wants to say something, but he wants to say something on top of somebody else. You know, Jeff, we don't have to worry about. <laughs> you know, uh, but um, so n just be aware that we do have a lot of people here and, and to sure. keep your ear out for when somebody you wants to kill say my something. timing, because when I want to say something, it's because it's in relation to something Still, else yeah, said say something. from five minutes ago. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, it's five minutes ago when Alex says now you can say it. Well, do <laughs> what old people do, <laughs> Phil, come, and write Phil. it down so you Phil. remember it for later. I can't mm -hmm. remember to write it down. Maybe, yeah. Just behave yourself. I never had yeah. to write anything down in my life. Okay, I used to remember everything, and now I got to write everything down. I write everything down. <laughs> you know, tomorrow, what do I have to do? You know, uh, yeah, exactly. get up, <laughs> get Sometimes, go to the bathroom. I got to write yeah. that. Down. No, I don't have to write. But that anyway, down. so we've got this thing, and it looks. I guess it looks like it's going to pass the Senate. That doesn't mean it's a bill yet. It still has to go to the president for his signature. What else has uh, to happen, Rob? It's got to yeah. go to Congress, and it has to be. Uh, they have to massage between Congress and uh, the Senate to because there are some House different Senate things. committee. But you know what I heard? Here's what I heard. That these guys like Flake and there's the one woman that was against it originally Maine, have, uh, have gone Linda from Maine. Uh, has not gone, the have, Alaskan. She's have, now for it. Have gone, yeah. And why? Because there was something put in there about the Alaskan wildlife or something. What does that have to fucking do with the income tax reform? It's all the well, means that she'll she means she'll vote, vote for it. They're yes. bribing their own just to get exactly. it passed. It's bribery. Yeah, they're bribing. Pork. They're bribing. It's the yes. pork that you love. Jason has his hand up. All right, so whatever happened to you need 60 votes to beat a filibuster? Uh, that because now we're only talking about you only need 50. Oh, okay. That, that's that, next month. That's next month. There's a temporary rule, okay? Yeah. This, this is horrible. But there's a temporary rule that says uh, that uh, it only has to be a majority, a, ma a simple majority. Normally, it has to be what? Uh, it's two thirds. Two thirds. Two, two yeah, thirds. No, no, it's not two thirds. You just have to be able to beat a filibuster. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. 60 to beat 60. a filibuster? Yeah. 60 yeah. to be a filibuster. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, and that expires the end of the year. That's why they're trying to get this passed now. So because they did a temporary nuclear option? That's correct. Yes. That's exactly. what it is. Yes. Uh, uh, Charlene has her hand up. Well, when Jason said filibuster, I the last thing I heard was that uh, they think that there could be a filibuster, and uh, you guys are saying that. That's why they're left. they asked so that they can't filibuster, right? Mm. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm a filibuster. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so what happens, Rob? The Congress has to, the whole Congress as a whole has to approve it? Well, no, they, they they have their version, and the Senate has their version, and then they need to get together. Conference. And, yeah. I haven't done the conference committee thing yet, I don't think. And, now, and They've gotten it out of each of the, they're getting them out of each of the, uh, how, the Congress and the Senate, but they haven't, but they still haven't connected the two together yet. I'm, to I'm telling point. you right now, I don't want to see this thing pass, but it's one of the reasons pass. I want to see it pass is because this is going to be a death knell to the Republicans. As soon exactly. as the American public is faced with their tax bill next year, they're mm. going to go bananas. OK, right. nobody's going to vote. Certainly for in this state. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, is not, OK, not J a, Jace, Jason, you have your hand uh, up. Mike had his hand up first. Yeah. Who? Mike had his okay. hand up first. OK, Mike. OK, does it have to go through committee also? I think so. I don't know. I, you know, uh, I just got to wonder if it goes through uh, one side of the house, it goes to a committee where they can now take it apart, figure out. What the hell they're going to do, we they, all... They shouldn't be able to do something this drastic with a simple majority. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go through committee. It just has to go through the conference and, to... And I got news for you. The Republic, the Democrats then get in, and they get a Democrat, uh, Democratic uh, uh, majority. You can bet they'll do away with this tax plan. That'll be the first order mm -hmm. of business. 
Uh, yes, Jason. I think, you know, because Trump's gone through so many bankruptcies, he's actually just trying to do the ultimate bankruptcy. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be spectacular. <laughs> this is going to be yes. the best bankruptcy you've ever seen. You've never I seen am a going to destroy like the United States of America. We're all going to get screwed. It's just the We're all going to get screwed over. It's just the little guy whose taxes are going up. You know, if it's the little guy whose taxes are going up, they don't vote anyway. So, Who you know. can't afford to pay taxes because there's can't a afford to vote. Poor. Just wait till you can, see. What... You don't know, support your taxes. How do you survive to live? Wait till you see what happens to your tax bill. Phil. And that's the thing, you know, probably everybody on here, their taxes are going to go down. You know, how are you paying for government? It's already going to, they already know it's going to add to the deficit. You, you have to pay for something. This is the typical, this is uh -oh. this is the two Santa Claus method on fucking steroids. That's, well, that's when they, when they get rid of all the, the Medicare and Medicaid and Social oh. Security. We can't afford it. The deficit is up. Oh, oh, oh. Middle class. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Charlene? Hey, I'm going to get mine next year, so I'm, I'm coming. Maybe. Charlene? <laughs> you know. Is this the thing where they're going to repeal and replace? Is that in the bill? No, no, that's that's no, that's, a, that's, that's Obamacare. But, but part of yeah. this is the you don't have to get Obamacare now, though, isn't it? Yeah, one of the things is that yeah, the man the the, uh, the mandate or whatever it's called. Where, yeah, but that was done by executive there? order. Is that still in there? No, uh, he took it out by executive yeah, order. Yeah, but you know he yeah. takes stuff out by executive order, and then a judge somewhere says "fuck you." Most well, of it, most of a lot of his a lot of his most of his executive orders have been overturned. A lot of the, the ones where immigration are concerned have been all overturned. Well, hopefully he'll be able to replace those judges with uh, ones that are like minded. Well, it's just uh, too bad that Roy Moore isn't available. <laughs> well, he will be once. By the not, way, yeah, by the way, that's the latest ways, thing yeah. too. Here, you, you get this. This is this is this is how how, how sneaky. Uh, Trump is about Roy Moore. He is going to campaign for him. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Down the street. No, I missed it. Yeah, but what he's going is he's going to Tallahassee, Florida, I think it is. And Tallahassee, Florida is the same television market as Mobile, Alabama. Hmm. So he's going to go to Tallahassee and give speeches on behalf of Roy Moore without having to step foot in Alabama, It'd so he can be say, in Alabama, yeah. so he can say he never went to Alabama to support him. <laughs> See that he's doing that next week. He's going down to Tallahassee, right. and the, the governor of Florida is a Republican, and Tallahassee is where the governor is. Yeah, but that, but he's That's doing Jeff, that right? because it's the same market as Mobile. In other words, it's I guess if I'm maybe I have Tallahassee wrong, but I think I'm right. No. It's well, Tallahassee Mobile is the, is the market, yeah. and the NBC station, for instance, for that area is in Alabama. You know, it's probably Pensacola because that's a lot closer. Oh, maybe it's Pensacola. You could Pensacola. be right. Pensacola. It's over. It's it's on the uh, yeah. It's on the. Uh, I'd have um, to look it up. The but, Gulf Coast there. But I, yeah. he, he, he's going to be in a town. Makes sense. He's going to be in a town in. Florida. He'd love that anyway because that's a big military town yeah. anyway. So he can salute himself a few times and you know whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some of them. By the way, his leg. By the way I, you know, when, when somebody is president, how do you refer to him, Mr. President? Uh huh. Or uh, if you're saying his Mr. full Apple. name, you say President <laughs> So and So, right? I was watching oh, yeah, MSNBC today, and a reporter was constantly referring to him as Mr. Trump. I think that's what we all should do. Is, I think we is, should start referring to him as Trumpy Trump. Bear. Trumpy Bear. He doesn't even deserve Trumpy Mr. Bear. No, yeah. that's too cute and nice and loving that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's not official. What? I I've been calling him Mr. T online, but he doesn't have the right sort of haircut yet. But you know, okay. still. A while back, John Oliver, uh, the fool. Uh, John Oliver offered his people a thing yeah. you can add to your browser that will change the name Trump every time it appears somewhere. To what the name really is, the German name, Drumpf. Oh, Drumpf. Yeah. Drumpf. Right. And so Marjorie still has it on her computer. Every time there's a oh, headline geez. like on Drudge or whatever, it says Drumpf. It doesn't say Trump. No matter what. So oh, you... Alex. Yeah. Did you That's hear hilarious. they were having a special? He's he's claiming that he has Swedish background or something. And this all goes back to the oh, father. Actually... The father claimed Swedish background because I guess 
he didn't want to be thought of as a Nazi or something. Right? Well, he was a German. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, but no. They no the father, the Swedish no, at a time the, when they didn't. Yeah, the father wasn't German. The grandfather, grandfather. was German. Grandfather. He came from Germany, and then uh, uh, Trump's father was born here. Uh, but but he vacillates, and he likes to say he's Swedish. You know, so lying and deceit run deep in the family. Mm, yeah. Oh, it goes back to the old man. Yeah, he went to yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Well, a lot of a lot of Germans in World War II that were in America. I live right in the old German neighborhood of New York. Uh, you know, yeah. they were like, you know, the local restaurants and stuff. Oh, no, no, we are Swiss. <laughs> we are not German, you know, yeah. or whatever. They all they all sort of, you know, as soon as we went to war, it was like, mm. you know, they they, they had to figure way, how the how would they survive here, you know? Uh, John, there's a way of identifying if they can't say the uh, the the ch sound in in, in uh, the Hebrew alphabet, yeah. which is he, he, right. uh, the, the Germans can't do it, but the Dutch can. And so when they uh, <laughs> during World War II to identify if somebody was Dutch or German, because a German they would might ask for yeah, they would ask them to say he, and 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 they couldn't do it. So <laughs> nice. that was, yeah, that was one I way. I can't of... roll my R's, so I'd be terrible in, in Spain and a few other places. I've never been able to roll my R's. So good luck for me being a, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a spy in you know, some country where they roll their R's. You know, forget yeah. it. Never be able to do it. You know, I know that Sweden took a lot of Jews after the war from the concentration camps. Yeah, yeah. They went to Sweden uh, uh, to either live or be processed. Uh, my friend, my friend, Jack Garfine, who was uh, uh, in a concentration camp, when he was, uh, you know, liberated from the concentration camp, was sent to Sweden to a hospital right. to right. recover. Uh, they they, oh, they did a lot of the yeah. they did a lot of recovery. In, in yeah, same with my friend's dad. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. and his dad and his mother met in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, they were both in different camps, and they met in Sweden and married. Yeah. Had a had a he got a sister, and then they came to the United States. Yeah, well, it's uh, by the way, good news. I, I talked to Jack, and I said I'd like to interview you sometime, and he said absolutely, he'd be happy to. So. Mm. Maybe that'll well, be. Maybe it sounds maybe, like a good interview. Yeah. Well, I just might do the interview and yeah. hope that the uh, you know uh, make that the show for the night because I mean he's got so much. There's so much story there. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. I've got the Spielberg interview of my friend's dad. If you want me to, uh, no. it's CD. No, you can listen to it. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, nah. no. Now, you know, he was interviewed for that project. Yeah, that, yeah, uh, the, the, the project was called the When Spielberg Finally Found Out He Was Jewish Project. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was trying to document, uh, you know, survivors of the yeah. camps. Where's Kevin been? He's He hasn't been in his frame for most of the last half hour. I know this, yeah. yeah. Maybe he passed out on the floor there. I, I, I hope he's okay. Are you there, Kevin? Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is December. He might be working with the elves, uh, making uh, oh, stop stuff it. in Santa's stop workshop. Stop it. Stop Good it. Day. Stop Good it. Day. By the way, well, I got to tell you something. Speaking of beards, there is this show on – how many of you get Netflix? Everybody get Netflix here? Or most mm -hmm. people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a movie on Netflix. No, I don't get it. And yeah. On Netflix. You absolutely – it's a seven-part miniseries called Godless, that is the most phenomenal Western I've ever watched. I'm starting to watch it right now. It's amazing. You will love it, Jason. But hmm. you got to stick with it because each P, each section kind of reveals more and more about the people and so on. So when you get to the final episode, you know, usually a lot of these things build up to something and then the third act sucks. Right. This is right. the best third act I've ever seen in any movie or television show. Oh. I was and, just a little kind of disappointed because I was watching a trailer and, and I was trying to get my wife to watch. My wife hates Westerns, but, you know, with all the stuff going on in the news, she's all woman power and all this and that. And I'm like, you know, it <laughs> seems like it's a woman power well, Western. Well, the basic premise and, of this Western is that there is this town where all the women lost their men in a mine accident. And there are just a few men in the in the town. That's the the basic premise. But then there's a a part uh, uh, played by, uh, what's his name, uh, who was in Dumb and Dumber, uh, 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 Jeff... Uh, Harry? Uh, no, Jim Carrey? No, no, the other guy. No, Jeff oh. uh, Daniels. 
Daniels. He yeah, plays sure. the meanest fucking outlaw you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> That's why. I mean, just a cold-blooded murderer, but he has shades of humanity in him. It's just, it's it, an is amazing... he the one who's the, the religious guy yes. uh, with yes. the beard? Oh, I didn't even realize that was him. Yeah. So this godless? I got to tell wow. you, yeah, just godless, keep yeah. watching it, Jet. Uh, and you will agree with me when you get to the <laughs> end. The last episode... When it finally ends, you're going to be crying. You know, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's just an amazing But in piece total, of it's eight episodes. And seven episodes. Seven episodes. And, and one season, that's it? That's it. It's called a miniseries. Oh, okay. And if you watch it, you'll know why there are no more than, there's no more than, you know. Uh, seven. Seven <laughs> episodes. <laughs> it, it, it's, it finishes. It, there's no way they could go back and do another one. Maybe this guy could go back and do another Western but not with these people and with this story. Mm. And it's, wow. it's wonderful. It is just, I, in fact, mm. m girlfriend, I told her it was so good. She says, I'll watch it if you watch it again. So I watched <laughs> the whole thing again, and I liked it better the second time through. And then That's she cool. watched the final episode twice because she wanted to just savor it. Uh, and by the time it was over, she said, thank you for forcing me to watch this. You know, huh. she says, I wasn't going to. Oh. Uh, you, you, it is, it is, it is stunning. Just stunning. Yes, uh, John. No, I was, uh, one of the reasons I, I wasn't sure I'd go on today, but I was talking to a friend of mine tonight and something came up and I'm thinking, I'd love to ask Alex this. This is, this is an Al Goldstein question, but it's a topical Al Goldstein now, question. Explain, even Al, though he's uh, dead. explain Al Goldstein to people who don't know who Al Goldstein oh, is. Oh, yes. Mr. Screw Magazine and the guy who paid us to do Midnight Blue and other weird things. Well, he paid but, the freight, yes. Yeah, but back in the, back in the day, you know, what I was what it was we were talking about, we were talking about uh, the. Uh, Hold on one know, second, guys like Jack. Matt, Jack, yeah, Jack, turn on your camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, keep us up. But, yeah. but my friend and I were. We're, we're going over some of the stuff this week with, you know, Charlie Rose and Matt Lauer and all these other people and just general sort of stuff. And I said, well, you know, back in the mid 70s, when 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 Alex and I were working for Al Goldstein, Al Goldstein, I mean, we knew he I, was, I didn't you know, I didn't I wasn't working for, were by, the, by and, the way, I wasn't working. With I, him. Oh, I, was, I wasn't working for Al Goldstein. Let's correct. Well, that. All right. You I was a part of Al Goldstein. I, I was a part. <laughs> we were part of like one. Right. Yeah. I thought it was Al Goldstein's Midnight Blue. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, I I'm the one that he did, was the, he was I, I'm the one that I'm the one that I mean, did that, and I did that so that he would never come on the show. So he'd be <laughs> happy with just having his name at the top of the show. It was Al Goldstein presents. You know, that was it. Right. Yeah, it was, right. I, I, you know, I the only times we had him on the show were like, you know, we really, you know, when we, you know, if he wanted to do like an interview or he wanted to do a, a screw you or something, but. Most of the time, we did the screw. He years. didn't do the screw like, use. I did the screw use. Oh, that's right. Most, yeah, I thought you did. Well, maybe I was thinking later. And no, it wasn't. And it wasn't. That. It wasn't screw you. It was fuck you. Right. Right. Well, yeah. I know. I'm just. I was what we would do to, is we would yeah. end the show, and I'd do a voiceover at the end saying, uh, "And that's Midnight Blue for right. this week." Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, fuck you, yeah. Tom Snyder. Yeah. You know. Oh no, that's true. That's In fact, true. Snyder told yeah. the story about how he told the story one night on the air about how he uh, uh, had just gotten cable. And then he had heard about this thing called Midnight Blue, and he was watching it. And that he was the, that, was the that week night, where at huh? the end I went, fuck you, uh, Tom Snyder. He says, and then I'm sitting there, and my TV set is telling me to go fuck myself. You know? <laughs> okay. Well, that, I mean, that's but – I was, but I was thinking of people talking about, like, Matt Lauer, like, you know, having – trying to get women to do things with him in his office and all that. I – Pretty sure that there are the occasional times in Goldstein's office where, you know, somebody that come in came in to do to uh, send a uh, to put put in a uh, you know uh, an ad for hookers or something. Well, uh, no, it, it, they did. You know, no, right. what but he so did. He was, what he did is when the hookers came in to screw mm, to buy their ads yeah. in the magazine. Yeah, uh, he would uh, then uh, look at them and invite them into his office and pay them. Okay. okay. Well, I know. So, I so it wasn't that. wasn't right. sexual harassment. It was a business oh, no. deal. Oh, I understand that. No, but well, what, what that? But from from that, I went into thinking, you know, if he, if Al was still Al's political views, I don't know. You know, I mean, you may know. In the last few years, 
they may have changed. I keep thinking that if he was alive and voted last year, would he have voted for Trump? No. Because it was because so, Trump was so out, he was so totally un, you know, normal that and I know he was not a very big fan of uh, of Congress. <laughs> he wasn't, a, but I don't really remember his political views. I, 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 I mean, don't Trump. I don't a, think he was on that. Uh, as hey, a pornographic material, you know. Well, no, not that. But I'm just saying, Al himself. I just thought, you know, he, I, I, that, you know, Al, look at Al, Trump and say, Al, hey, that's going to that's going to shake everything up and, you know, whatever. <laughs> I was just I was just curious as to thinking what what would he have what he what he would have thought of all that because he would have certainly made some comments about it in Screw if he was still doing yeah. it now. Uh, I uh, like, uh, Jason has his hand up. Charlene oh, yeah. is next. Oh, Charlene first, then Jason. Charlene has it. Yeah. Yes. I just wanted to know because I thought of that and asking you about him because I know you know about the midnight blue and all that. Did he own one of those terry cloth bathrobes? Was he an exposer or anything no, like that? No. 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 <laughs> no. He just paid the hookers. He would just pay he the was hookers. well dressed. Yeah, uh, I, you know, okay. uh, uh, Al was not aggressive. Okay. No. Uh, yes, Jason. I was just trying to look up just to be a funny guy and looking up on uh, YouTube. And first thing comes up, I don't know. You can see it. It was uh, Al Goldstein takes on Donald Trump. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I'll have to. But check that was that. how many years ago? That's a big question. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't think you old. liked him back then, you know. But oh, the old days. Yes, Jack. Hey, just real quick. Um, uh, our boy Brian came up with the best name for Donald Trump. Uh oh. The Chief Cheeto in charge. <laughs> Chief Cheeto in charge. Chief I've heard that to... before, though. Hmm? Oh. I've Can't... heard that before. I think he's not got one Brian. that's like really like filthy and stuff. Doesn't he have one that's uh, cycling stuff on your show, Jack? He <laughs> takes stuff from this come show. See, come, something yeah, happens right. on his show. He yeah. recycles it here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and um, and Kevin did the same thing the other night with us. He just sort of disappeared for a while. Yeah, he's still gone the, now. Yeah, right? Kevin's yeah. gone. I don't know where he is. He, I think he went out shopping. You know. Right. Taking the door up for a walk. But it's well, night. the night he did that on the intersection, he said, I got to go put my kid to bed. Oh, by and the way, is, is, this a, is this a royal flush uh, we got here? I guess it is, and I yes. uh, gave you the, I think uh, so. the royal flush. I'll do it again. <laughs> That's the only sound effect we let him play. Go with that, Phil. Uh-huh. You got a bar of soap to go with that? I need to kind of clean up a little bit. It's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you need a sink. Well, no, no. I've worked in worse places than this that have been toilets. <laughs> anyway, so, so um, um, no, I, 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 I think Al would be anti-Trump. I really do. But, okay, now I'm just curious because, you know, I remember way back, you know, uh, when you know, the if if he did anything really political back in the '70s. It was mostly just trying to support, you know. Um, well, it was uh, he, uh, the stuff he supported was somewhat self-serving in that he, yeah, you know, exactly. he was fighting a lot of court battles regarding pornography. Right. Uh, yes, uh, right. Jason. The, I just listened to two seconds of it, and you know, it was uh, him taking on Trump about saying how basically Trump is extremely egotistical, and Trump wants to make New York City Trump City, and he just keeps on building everything and putting his name on everything because he so wants everything to be Trump, Trump, Trump. So I was, I'd like to sit back and listen to it, but yeah, yeah, you know, I'll have to do that tomorrow. But yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't. Doesn't seem like uh, Al Goldstein actually liked Trump at all. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, uh, I don't think so. No, Jack. Hey, did you guys uh, talk any about uh, the Jimmy Kimmel thing this evening? No, I, didn't, what, I haven't what? seen the current no. one. What do you mean? T tonight's show? It just went on at 11.30. No, 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 what Jimmy Kimmel did earlier in the day. What he did earlier in the day. What he, did he, accepted, he accepted Moore's uh, invitation to come down to, to, to Alabama and go one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I saw the thing yesterday. Uh, more saying, listen, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, you know, mess up our get get terrible about our Christian values, come down here. Don't do it over and don't do it in in, in Los Angeles. Come here and talk to me directly. So he went know. there. 
And Jimmy's like, all right. <laughs> so it should be said, interesting. So Maybe what, we'll see said, it next If you week. want to square off a mono, a mono, so a, wait a minute. you it, want it, to. It, he hasn't broadcast it yet. He hasn't gone there, I guess. Well, yeah. Oh no. no, he hasn't gone there yet. I mean, it's oh, but he, he, he is. He is up on the challenge. He, he is going to go there. Well, it sounds that good, doesn't it? Mm. I hope so. I mean, it'd be I think that'd be an interesting. If if they can actually put it together, I think that'd be a very interesting interview. I, I think it will too. I'll go as the, as the guy in his corner to uh, to have the uh, bandages and the. You'll be his and, cut and man. Iodine. Yeah. If they get physical. Back teen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you bet you better be, you be a cut man. You better be a cut That's man it. for uh, for uh, for more because uh, yeah. Kimmel's going to beat the shit out of him. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Charlene. You know, Kimmel has been doing some amazing late night stuff. Like, you know, remember when his child was sick and he related yeah. that to health care for everyone in the country and. I mean, that, this is going to be amazing. I want to see that definitely. Well, Kimmel like, is uh, Kimmel of all the guys doing late night is the only guy that knows how to do late night, uh, and he's very good at it. And he he you know it's things like this that make people get attached to a show and to want to watch the next night to see how something's going to resolve itself and whatever. And he's been doing a great job of, of, of speaking out, at least on behalf of... Oh, hey, here's Kevin. Now, where were you, Kevin? You were gone for about a half hour. Did the police let you go? <laughs> I had a... Uh, were the elves on strike? Go up. I'm going to be doing Santa Claus this weekend, and she's helping me out, so... I told you he was talking... It was the elves. <laughs> is, is, this your, uh, is this your busy season? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to be dead by Monday. <laughs> uh, when we do a show on Christmas, I don't, yeah, I guess we might do a show on Christmas Eve. We'll be off Christmas week. I'll send out the memo. Well, Phil, back. if you're coming down 101 in San Martin, yeah, you see the big Santa Claus there. That's where I'll be at the ranch. Oh, okay, but it's going to be like seven o'clock tomorrow morning that I'm uh, leaving. Yeah, I won't do, be there that do, early. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Kevin. Do you actually have a Santa well, Claus outfit? Yes, sir. So sometime just before Christmas, when you call the show, will you please have the Santa Claus outfit on? Right, where the Sure, Santa Claus? no problem. Yeah, because, I mean... It'll they, cost they, you they, 75 make... bucks an hour. <laughs> <laughs> plus, tax. He'll give it to you in gas hey, next month. Yeah. Don't forget now, yeah. plus yeah. California tax. We'll make yeah, you the official Gabnet Santa much. Claus. What's that? We'll make you the official Gabnet Santa Claus. There you go. But anyway, you know, Zoe, what I was saying, the reason I brought up that show, Godless, is Jeff Daniels had a beard just like yours, about your length. And I think he actually grew it for the part. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, if that thing was real, man, that was a pretty beard. <laughs> a great beard. <laughs> Perfectly hey, groomed. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that. For you. Yeah. Does your Santa Claus suit come with two pairs of pants in case there's a child emergency? Hey, That's Jack, what? just for you, I got Santa Claus chaps. <laughs> be careful because uh, are they the assless chaps yeah absolutely <laughs> Got the beard back and there. i have no ass <laughs> now, you ever ride your motorcycle with the santa claus outfit on i i did one year yes <laughs> the, the thing that got me started he got the on shit beaten about... at him by the hell's angels so he stopped doing that now this yeah. this this tree farm uh, in San Martin. Uh, so when I'm on the 101, uh, where where is that? What do I look right for? by the airport? You know where the airport is there in San Martin? Uh, on the left hand side going north. Right side going down. Right side yeah. going down. Right side going down. Okay. Charlene, right Martin, Charlene's got her hand new. up. Charlene's got her hand up. Now, Charlene. Uh, does Kevin? Do you have full protection there? Because you run the risk of. Uh, People accusing you of like he's got a condom on at all right? times. Don't worry Absolutely. about him. <laughs> he made me sit tape. on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing that got me started was about seven years ago. I did a, a homes for our troops. Yeah, and there's a kid here in town that uh, got blown up up in in Afghanistan, and somebody asked me to do it. Yeah. And they were they built a house for him, you know. It was all set up for. Was that Gary Sinise? No, it was uh, Sergeant Jurgens. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The the group that built the house. No, homes for our troops. Oh, okay. 
So anyway, I rode on the fire truck and then presented the keys and all that stuff because it all happened around Christmas time. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, you know something. Uh, you know you you know you probably shouldn't go to the mall when you find out that Santa is being played this year by Charlie Rose. Well, I'll tell you, I got offered a mall job and I told them no. <laughs> That's a little too long for me. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. But you get you do you really get seventy five bucks an hour? More I need to grow the beard out. I didn't do it this what year. I was thinking about growing the, the beard says, out. What happens if one of the kids says, Mason. Santa touched me? Santa touched me. What, what do you do? Well, I, I guess the, the kid cried because it was so emotional. <laughs> is, it all, is it all videotaped? So, you know, you, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably at this point. Do you, yeah, do you really that's do what I'm doing is taking, taking pictures. I'm there to take pictures. So. Yeah, but I mean, yes. do they do they videotape all the time so to make sure that if anybody ever complains that you were doing something improper that they've got proof that you didn't? Oh, come on now. Santa's wearing <laughs> body cams. On Santa's lap, you know? No one would accuse Santa of doing Listen, that. Listen, right? I am oh, sure yeah? this Christmas <laughs> season we're going to hear about some sexual harassment from some guy dressed up as Santa Claus. You know what? Oh. Now you got me thinking I'm going to videotape it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Put some cameras cam. on the tips of your cowboy boots. Yeah. <laughs> Wear a body cam like the cops do. Yeah. Yeah, then I can play them back for you. <laughs> no. Again, so, Matt, would we be having a discussion about a pervert, a pervert Santa? Now, I got I got to give the credit. What's unusual thing a kid ever asked for? What? Oh, geez, I don't know. What's the unusual thing? Yeah, you know when you're when you're being Santa, don't they ask you? I want a you know bicycle. I want this. I want a. Well, the one thing you learn, the one thing you learn is you never promise anything unless you're pissed off at your parents. (laughs) And you say, "Oh yeah, you can have a car. (laughs) You can get that horse. Well, we'll, they'll sit. You know, I'll get the horse to you tonight. (laughs) By the way, by the way, by the way, uh, I'll see what I can do. Does anybody watch? That's all it is. Does anybody I can do? Has anybody watched the show Young Sheldon? Yeah, no. I watched a little of it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch it last night? No. Parts of it. I didn't get the whole thing. I, I got a little of the beginning of I it. I love what they do. The, the, it's all about Sheldon as a child, and he he's mad That's at NASA. Weird, yeah. yeah, and he decides that he's going to design a rocket that the, the 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 stuff they throw off the rocket, you know, the tubes that come off of the rocket, right. can then land back on Earth. And so he does this whole formula, and he takes it to NASA, and they say, we, we don't even have the ability to build something like this. Cut to the end of the show. Uh, there's a CNN report that, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, SpaceX has mm. created a retrievable rocket that can land back on the platform. You've seen that, right? Mm-hmm. And then cut, the booster. To, then cut to the office of Elon Musk, and Elon Musk is there. Yeah. And they say, Mr. Mu- Mr. Musk, uh, we have a reporter out here who wants to see you. He says, okay, just give me a second. And you see the, the notebook that Sheldon had years earlier, and he's been looking at it, and he folds it and I, puts it in the drawer and says, okay, send him in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Jason. Well, see, it made me start thinking of you when he was starting to have, I got an ulcer. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, like when you had this and when you had that and when you had this. And he's describing all the symptoms. I'm like, oh, that's a little Alex Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I got to tell you, I, this, that show isn't bad, you know? No, it, it's, it's cute. Show. It's cute. And by the it, way, the it, woman who plays it, his mother is the woman who's the daughter of the woman who plays his mother I, on the on the Big Bang Theory. That's why they look so similar. Yeah, huh? yeah. Maybe Perfect. we could have a uh, young Alex show. There you go. Alex. Really? Oh, that, oh really? Lord, no. You think America's <laughs> ready for that? No. <laughs> Kevin's knee. Young <laughs> Alex, the young Alex show would just be one episode after another where somebody doesn't get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my you? life, Alex. <laughs> all, right, all right. How old were you when you got laid? Let's see if, you know, you and I do this with each other. Uh, see, you know, who can top this? How old were you? I was 19. Oh, damn. Lasted longer than I did. I was 18. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I thought I, I was older. It wasn't 16. that I lasted longer than you. I would have liked to have done it a couple of years earlier, you know. Of course. But the opportunity all? never <laughs> yep. afforded itself, and all I could do was fantasize about what the day would be like. And then when it happened, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Mm. Yeah. Well, that happened to a friend of mine. He got laid when he was 11. <laughs> 
Really? Yeah, they all lie. Well, He's eleven year old. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, how many of those are bullshit? <laughs> no, no, but the, no. I know it's true because uh, of the field of work that he uh, he's in, and psychologist. Uh, his name yeah, Trump. <laughs> yeah, his I, name I, I won't Trump. reveal any more than that. But uh, he's a sheep farmer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't in Texas. He was in Chicago. And Not yes. Alabama, huh? Okay. No, no. And it wasn't his cousin either. Uh, but uh, he, he's, he got laid at 11. And I asked him, well, what did you think? He said, eh, he, it was okay, but it wasn't what I expected it to be. Most 11 year olds even you know, have, you know, their pre I remember these 14 year olds down in Florida who were fucking this beautiful, gorgeous teacher, right? Yeah. And uh, all I could think to myself was if they manage to get that woman at 14, the rest of their life is going to be downhill from there. <laughs> you know, if they're going to try and compare the rest of their life against that, there's no woman that's going to be able to meet his your expectations. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty wise. anyway. Yeah. When it happened to me, I couldn't even believe it was happening. You know, it was. Uh, was it, oh, was wow. it over that fast, Phil? I did it. I did it in the back seat of my of my, of my nineteen. So what did Faye say? I did. I, I, Seventy-two. I, I did it in the back seat of my uh, um, salmon-colored nineteen thirty-nine Pontiac Torpedo, and 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 we didn't know whether we did it or not. It was just that, you know, because it, you should not have sex for the first time in the backseat of a car because you don't know what you're doing in the first place. And now you're putting a deficit on it by doing it in the backseat of a car. So the following Monday, we got together, went to my room in, at my house while my parents were at work, and we made sure we completed the task. So. <laughs> yes, uh, John. Task, huh? Well, yeah, that reminds me of one of the, remember... One of the other Midnight Blue things we did the uh, the interview the 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 question and answer speak your piece show yeah a, a one of our friends one of the things is where did you have where did you first have sex and her 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 answer was fantastic it was in the back of a Dodge Super V at the Woodstock <laughs> Music and Art Festival yeah. we were like well there we go that's yeah. you know that's that's pretty uh, dramatic you know? yeah. one of the girls on uh, Connections. Uh, revealed that the first time she masturbated was on the church bus yeah. going to hmm, that's Sunday. on our oh, that's because yeah, yeah. you heard it on our promo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, heard it on your promo. Yeah. So, geez, you know, but you listen what, to that show occasionally. Oh, okay, good. Occasionally. <laughs> so you're the one, huh? Okay. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while, I hear it on the feed. Yeah. And uh, it's it's changed and it's actually improved from when it first started. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's, good. it's a good little show uh, if you like that many commercials. You know. Yeah, it's I mean, heard. Heard. note, I'm going to say I have no commercials coming up, but I do have to do a little prep for the uh, the intersection coming up. Yeah. See you in a I say you take two minutes to do uh, prep. Right. Sounds good like idea. it. I it's can't my, believe it's I a, that's around. one minute more than I do. What? Yeah. Stuck around. Yeah. Anyway. Ladies and what? gentlemen, the Vincent. lovely oh, Jack, Jack uh, Bishop. Let's no. say goodbye to him. Goodbye, Jack. Uh, Can't believe he had two Jack. days without Amy, and he didn't talk about toilets. Hey, by the way, days. by the way, weren't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> I got something to ask you, Jason. Weren't you here last week? No, I was not here. Well, last you weren't week. here last week. Oh, okay, because no, I thought maybe you were before. here last week. It was week a very quick, very quick week. And that Sabrina had like you know. Uh, I thought Sabrina was here last week. She, she comes on the weeks that you're not. Damn. Is that where she's at? <laughs> That's what's happening. So. <laughs> yeah. That's a very, that's a very nice picture of you and Sabrina, though. That That is you, right? It's not some strange guy. Let's hope. <laughs> yeah, it was just, I was, because I was trying to set up a new account real quick. So I was asking if I wanted to do a picture. And I just said, it was like, put up, uh, pull up a file of our pictures and it was a wedding picture. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Anyway, uh, hey, I think we probably should play the theme song. 
and we should probably intend yep. intend to get out of here in any moment uh, at, uh, possible. Uh, Phil, thank you very much. You stayed through the whole show, by the way. Yeah, that's what I noticed. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you were right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Charlene, thank you so much for joining us, as well as Jeff Stein, Kevin, going to be our official Gabnet Santa. John Rockwell, oh, oh, oh. You, we'll make you the elf, okay, Back John? I, 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 the elf, yeah. right. Okay. Now, Rob, right. thank you yeah. so much. We really appreciate it. Rob, Bob Everth, always good to have you here. Uh, thanks to uh, Mike and thanks to Scott. And also thanks to Renee for that tour of Hawaii at the beginning of the show. And mm -hmm. uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Lee for calling us from Hawaii as well. Was there anybody else that was on the show tonight? The unknown that, caller. Huh? The unknown caller. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everybody, give a good wave goodbye so that we can uh, end this whole thing. And that's our Citizens Panel for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and for the week. Because uh, this is the, uh, the point where we go on a little bit of a vacation for like three days. It's not really a vacation. That's what the girlfriend often says, is that it's not really a vacation. And she's right. No, it's three days. We will be off until, uh, uh, we, we normally are off until uh, a Monday, uh, a Tuesday rather. I'm trying to do a whole bunch of things at the same time and I'm so, I, I just don't have the multitasking abilities I used to have. Anyway, uh, Jack and Amy are next and then it is Connections. And in the meantime, I'll see you Tuesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.